Hi, I'm LK Wong and I'm going to show you a little bit of the blues cube pot today. The Roland Blues Cube started uh, you know, getting into the market in the 90s. That was the first generation of the Blues Cube and it was uh, received very well. The past few years ago, I mean, they decided to revamp the Blues Cube again. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Blues Cube Hot. The Blues Cube Hot is the smallest version uh, in the Blues Cube series of uh, amplifiers. This is a 30 watt uh, amplifier and it comes together with a custom designed 12 inch speaker. 12 inch. The cabinet is actually made out of poplar wood. It's a very simple to operate kind of amplifier, no frills, just pure tone. The Roland Blues Cube is one of my favorite guitar amplifiers to play with. I've personally like took it out for gigs and uh, used it at kind of like a small cafes or, or, or bars where you know a real like a full tube amplifier wouldn't be suitable because uh, you're not able to control the volume so the great thing about the blues cube is that it gives you all that warmth and uh, tonal possibilities as just like a vintage tube amp but with the ability to adjust the volume to taste because you have a master volume on this the Blue Scoop uh, design uh, employs the tube logic technology from Roland. Really, really replicates the individual uh, sections of a guitar amplifier. From the preamp input section to how it interacts with the power amplifier and to right down to the speaker. Everything is kind of like modeled really, really intricately. This uh, gives you a very, very touch responsive and uh, dynamic amplifier just uh, like you would be feeling when you're playing on your favorite old vintage tube amplifiers. So basically the, the tube logic technology that's employed here uh, gives you, you know, even replicates the tube power sag, uh, you know, the squishy spongy kind of feeling that uh, guitar players love. You know, for instance, like, uh, you know, So if you turn up the channel volume, it gives you more uh, drive. Backing off the volume, cleans it up. So very, very touch responsive and uh, I think you got to try one out in its uh, physical form uh, to, to be able to understand fully uh, of that experience. Uh. So the Blues Cube Hot uh, is a single, uh, I would say it's a single channel amplifier. Um, you've got the channel volume on one knob, a three band EQ, bass, middle, treble. There's a built-in reverb here, which sounds really nice and lush, and also a master volume to control the overall volume. Of the um, what you have over the side with this chicken head knob here is called the power control, which you can drop the power to 0.5 watts or full up, uh, full 30 watts. Uh. There's also a, a boost function, a boost button here to give you extra drive if you know the amount of drive on the amp is not enough for you, it gives you another boost. And also there's a tone button here which you can switch on or off. The tone is basically sort of like, kind of like a presence control. On the back panel, you have uh, an, a line-out jack uh, which you can connect to you know, PA system. There's also a USB output on the back of the amp. You know, a vintage looking amp like this, but you look at the back, it's all modern. Uh, you got a USB output so you can connect it to your favorite DAW uh, and uh, record directly also. The Blue Scoop Hot has a built-in uh, reverb. Uh, the kind of reverb sound that is not really like uh, getting in the way with your guitar signal is like nicely placed at the back. I think it's it's based on, on more of a plate kind of reverb sound. So uh, even you crank it up, you know, you still, it, it doesn't like, like, like over, 
how to say, wash over your, your guitar signal. For instance, this. Very spacey sound. If I crank it up all the way. Thank you. 